Hey folks, how's it going? Today we're checking out Peep Show. This is season two, episode two. What's it called again? Jeremy makes it. So I'm trying to think what happened in the last episode. Yeah. Yeah, Mark screwed things up with Sophie because he was going through her um emails. Jeremy and Mark made out. <laughs> that was like one of the worst kisses I've ever seen. That was good. Uh trying to think of what else happened in the episode. I can't remember what else happened. I just know it ended with um Sophie catching Mark um in her email. So he screwed that up again so we're gonna see how things go in this episode let's go and jump into it and we will talk about it in the end <laughs> already he starts with the jokes at least one of us is serious about actually giving this a fucking go <laughs> so long tony you did didn't you oh yeah so fast and you did obviously oh, oh yeah fucking life it isn't it bloody is gog 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 at school, if you're gonna sneeze, you'd run up and do it in his face. Oh, <laughs> who just casually smokes crack though? That's great. <laughs> Remember when we made you wank off Perchy's dog for a fiver? What are you doing, really? Like I said, business. Going public in April. Usernames, and I'm overseeing the edit on my first short. Honda are very interested. What's so your actually? Of course, we should meet up sometime and have a chat. Look, here's Superhands. We can do the music, can't we, Superhands? Tell you what, that crack is really Moorish. Oh my god. Saturday <laughs> shit. I thought we had people in Ireland. Jesus to do this Christ. For us. Lovely, trustworthy voice. See you later, gays. What? See you later, guys. <laughs> so, for see you back at my place. 33 <laughs> Ringfield Road. If you'd bring the vino. I've got the massage oil. <laughs> huh? Oh god, he's taunting me. I should have made him a cup of tea when I had one. Hurrah! It was a joke! A hilarious joke! <laughs> okay, great. You sure you don't need a loan? I should be working. I should be working, but I'm not. <laughs> I see you! I'm Barnes Wallace! You're the Roar! <laughs> I'm the Roar! And no one's actually said the word dumb busters. This is bloody brilliant! I'm having fun! And I'm not thinking about Sophie! Okay, I didn't hear what he said. I don't know if there was shit or not. I can't believe I'm pitching to Gog. Hope he doesn't know it was me who did the shit in his mum's airing cupboard. Please like my music, you lanky wanker. These are my guys. They had to pull a lady. So I was all, do it around my place. I've got a fridge full of beers. Plus, this way, I get to keep an eye on, which is cool. Very cool. So, about the track. Hey, you know what I fancy right now? A kebab. A kebab. I wasn't. Well, I want one now. <laughs> right. This is so weird. Really? No, I'm shitting you, Jess. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so about the soundtrack. Can I do the soundtrack? Yeah. Right. What shall I write? Can't just put not Jaws. Do pretend writing. Are you pretending to write? <laughs> no. Well, it's very embarrassing. And since Ian Krauss is of German extraction, it has to be treated as a racial incident. Yo. Ian's a, a, a racial incident, but why? Oh, come on, Mark. Germans. Incident. Sausage. Bloody hell. Next you won't be able to get a black coffee from the coffee machine. Exactly, and they'll have a bloody EU banana straightening machine to straighten all the bananas. Hey, there's already a banana straightening machine. It's called Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you... Good old Clarkson. People like fast cars, they're like females with big boobies, and they don't want the Euro, and that's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm not that hungry. Do you want anything? Don't really fancy a chinky. Have you got a pizza menu? About a million reenactments. They probably sound more fun than they really are. <coughs> like Laser Quest. Another beer, G? Lock and load. I think this dude might be racist. God, what He's is he made a couple taking? Of <laughs> Better not disturb him. He might attack me and be sick. Drugs are fine, Mark. Everyone agrees now. Drugs are what happened to people. Uh, shut up. Look, I don't want to make a scene, but I really think... <laughs> what? It's gone! Finish I got right the on my enormous bike while you're still jogging along for miles in the rat race with you and all the other rats. Exactly. I, I think it's great. Great. Well, in that case, you won't mind if I take you out for an incredibly expensive meal to celebrate. I I'm not that hungry. Bollocks, we're going. Pardon. Strap on. It's an example. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I ordered uh, three pilau rice and three peshwari naans. It's all right, Jeremy. It's all right. I changed the order. There's always rice left. That's it's very kind of you, Jez, but you don't want to overstretch yourself. Bollocks. I'm a very generous guy. Daryl's bringing his core anglais. Nancy's singing. 
what are you going to do? <laughs> it could be well, kind of confusing, in a good way. Three more beers for the three musketeers, eh? Ooh. Ah. 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 Hey. <laughs> Bet we're having a much better time than Sophie is right now. Hey. Of course we are, mate. Of course we are. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you where we should go. No, hey. don't! Oh, fuck! That is a myth. <laughs> oh, piss. That's not even oh, right. right. See, the longer the note, the more dread. God, that's terrible. It's worse than Daryl's bloody core on Glay. Oh, they're useless. I wish they were all robots. I wish I was a robot. <laughs> this is terrible. No, alright? <laughs> that's not shit, but just no. Oh, shit. Hans, you realise we've only got 39 minutes left? Oh, Get right, back Jenna. behind the glass. There is a very clear, if invisible, line. Here be beauty, there be pie charts, okay? Uh, look, I've been here since eight. I'm just gonna go and grab a coffee. Oh my now. God. Well, democracy's all very well, <laughs> but it's weak and it's decadent. You need a strong leader. Oh shit, I knew uh, it. I'm in character. Oh, uh, yes, yes, right. Yes, the, the fatherang needs the, the Fuhrer. Mog, the oh. graffiti. Yeah, the traffic, the noise, the hassle. The car alarms, the cash points, the blacks, the packies, the Jews. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what we all want, a, a racially pure nation. Exactly. I mean, all we're saying Shit. is the same way, England, right? Everyone thinks it. The difference is, we're not afraid to say it. Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. Of course. I can't just make a nice, normal friend. Oh, no, that would be far too simple. Oh, <laughs> Hitler? Uh, You'll never get it off entirely, uh, but, you know. Uh-huh. Dude, he's a terrible Nazi. Link. It's fantastic. Daryl is definitely beyond. So... Rest of the money should be rolling in soon, which is just as well. <laughs> or maybe I'm just overreacting. Listen, I might pop, just <clears throat> pop down the uh, chinky. Do you want another thing? From, uh, no, I'm all right, thanks. What about from the packy shop? Do you want another thing from in there? The packy no. shop? And obviously you don't think there's a global Jewish conspiracy controlling everything. What, you mean, am I a racist? Yeah, if you think that and say those things... Horseplay. No, because I was in the tent with him for ages and we talked for a long time and it was mostly on racial classifications, head measurements and so on. Oh Meanwhile, my God. <laughs> I feel terrible. Tell him I'm not here. Why? <laughs> because I didn't confront him, all right? What happened was we were passing, and I said, let's see if they're in, throw some stones at the window, and Daryl thought I said a stone, and the stone he picked was a brick, and, well, he got the wrong window, and you know the rest. Sorry I'm late, everyone. <laughs> hey, Mark, my man. We should come down here for a bit of a bonding sesh. All right, great. So... Anyone see the game last night? Uh, no. I did. <laughs> Thierry Henry. He made savage you are French. <laughs> he thinks you're French. <laughs> I keep telling you, Daryl, <laughs> he's not French. <laughs> Come on, let's get you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, while well, we've got a minute. Still racist as shit. Oh, but why? Well, it's the 21st century and no one actually likes each other anymore, so let's just leave it at that, shall we? No, but I, but I do like you. I think you're fucking great. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I don't have time, okay? There's no time. Resolve, because everything is simple in Tetris world. Uh, Mark, I've got a massive, massive favour to ask you. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's, um, the thing is, Gog, he's got some... Res and I really need to borrow quite a lot of money to go back into the studio, and I was thinking, I mean, you are the manager. Okay, how much? Brilliant. Now, the favour. That's not the favour. Much more uh, core anglais. No, Jeremy, you know what Daryl's like? No, sure, yeah, absolutely, of course. But look at it another way, we've all got our foibles. I mean, I, for example, hate mozzarella. 
Cor Anglais, of course. Probably plays it in the BNP jazz combo. Brilliant. Fantastic. What did you think, Hans? Crack. Just give me crack. Well, I loved it. <laughs> if you want to Great play. to hear from you. You uh, got over whatever brain attack you had in Frankie and Benny's then? I'm safe. In my cubicle, I'm safe. So we offer a pie or what? Uh, Daryl, li listen, the, the truth is, I can't be associated oh, with you. All right. Anymore. Political correctness gone mad. No, I hate political correctness gone mad more than anyone. I don't want to teach the world to sing. That, that would be horrible, but... Slavery? The, the Holocaust? Fair enough. You've taught me around. I have? Fuck off, thought police. Well, there he goes. The That's first what I friend I made since Nick <laughs> Bickford in 96. We want our money, and we're feeling a little bit clumsy. Whoops. Look, Jeremy, I've told you. It's out of my hands now. The Honda people are very hard to please. Oh, Honda, Honda, Honda. Fuck Honda. Nice, uh, packet You're of crunch. You're gonna pay, aren't you? No. All right, then, we've got our answer. Let's go. I've got to hurt him on principle. Hit him with a fucking bat, Jez. Why do I have to? Why don't you do it? Punch him with the glove. Punch it? I can't even make a fist. This is the whole point about contract law. The whole... Hello? Honda? Oh, oh really? Oh, well, that's great news. Oh, well, I'm so pleased. Dave, call the police. There's people here. They're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill them. It's supposed to be raw. Can he can call you back? Hey, Mark. What's the big stink? Daryl's getting the sack. Apparently, he was a massive racist, and not even his best friends knew. I'm going there. I just wanted to say, I don't care what happened. I still think you're a bloody good guy. Oh, and I took the rap for the sausage as well, so you're in the clear there. So, um, well, I'll see you around, mate. Yeah, yeah and good riddance. You, you, you fucking Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> that was pitiful. <laughs> you Nazi. Ah, uh, that was a really good episode. I really enjoyed that. As soon as that dude said, um. Well, he said a few things, like, about, like, you know, the black jokes or something, like, black coffee and whatever. And then when he said chinky, I'm like, I think this dude's a racist. As soon as he's like, you know, he's not in the mood for chinky stuff. Jesus. And that's roughly about a... When he said, so did I convince you or what have you when he was talking through the glass? And, like, when the dude was like, no, nah, like, fuck off, thought police. I'm like, that's about how it should go. A lot of people really think they can convince somebody in, um, you know, one session. Like, just having a conversation, saying, like, hey, dude, this is why this is wrong. Like, you can't switch somebody that quick with like a lifetime of racism uh it's just not that it's not that simple as long people are like in the comments section they write this whole statement as in regards to, like why racism is stupid or what have you like dude you're not gonna change somebody's mind with the paragraph i mean kudos for trying but it's just not gonna happen um yeah and like honestly it usually just from like personal experience the people i've seen that were racist and then they became like like you know they stopped being racist usually because, like, when it started impacting them directly, like, in their, like, family and stuff. Like, my buddy, when she had a mixed kid, and when she told her dad that he wouldn't be in her, uh, that the kid wouldn't be in his life if he continued to be the way he was, and that's what changed him, because he wanted to be, um, his grandchild to grow up around him. He wanted to be with, with his grandchild, and that's what converted him over, when he started getting rid of all his stuff and, like, racial paraphernalia, stopped hanging out with, like, um... I don't know if that's the word for it, but stop hanging around, like, you know, like, uh, racist flags and stuff, and then he stopped hanging around with, like, racist friends and all that jazz, and that's how he adjusted, because they impacted him directly in his life, where he wasn't going to be able to see, um, his grandkid and, like, watch his grandchild grow up and stuff, and it was going to be his, his, his only grandchild, because they had one kid, his daughter, so, or, um, wait a minute, I mixed it up, no, no, two kids, I'm sorry, two kids, one kid didn't want to have kids, and she was the only one who had a kid. The one kid said so she was having a kid. So, so there's one chance of um actually gr having a grandchild. So that's why it usually has to impact somebody directly in their life for them to do it. I, I don't think I've ever met anybody who just had a change of heart because of a few social media posts or just from watching a movie and all that jazz. Um, usually happens if it impacts them directly and then a series of conversations, you know? Um, and he still has that little... Like, where he slips up, but he's trying. Like, when I met him, he was like, oh, man, you're like, he's like, like you're one of the good ones. There's so many of them out here doing all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, he still got it. It's still a tinge of it in there. 
He still has a little bit in there, but he's trying. That's all that matters, man. He is trying. So, yeah, this is good. This is a good episode. I really enjoyed it. This is really, really funny. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Uh, so, if I think anything else, of course, I'll put it in the comments below. Um, I mean, in the statement below, what have you. So, all right, guys, that is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.